In the Australian outback, termite mounds cast shadows over the red earth. They loom like skyscrapers, each one stretching up to eight meters. Individually, the towers stand with a mighty presence. But together, this desert is a city that stands even stronger. These impressive structures are made from the simplest of materials, saliva, feces, and clay. Termites are formidable architects. Millions constantly work together to build and maintain their home, with a labyrinth of underground nesting tunnels that stretch as low as they are high. In the nest, special chambers help to store food, hold eggs, and house the queen. Termite mounds usually outlive the colonies themselves, with new residents moving in after the original owners die out, moving into homes that represent some of the tallest animal structures in the world. Although these towers may seem like insect apartment complexes, the termites instead live underground in nests, only rising to the mound to make repairs or defend their colony. But with millions living under the same roof, life can get too crowded. Toxic gases can easily build up. The mounds help as a ventilation system. They are the lungs of their homes that make breathing possible, inhaling and exhaling through the porous walls. And it's a process that runs on its own. Termites harness the natural change in temperature as the day turns into night to ventilate their homes. During the day, the outer tunnels of the mound heat up more quickly than the inner ones flushing out the hot air that carries CO2 and methane, while pulling in fresh, cooler air from outside. At night, the flow reverses as the air in the outer tunnels cools down quicker than the inner ones. The termite mound is a marvel of engineering, a self-regulating structure that can maintain oxygen levels, temperature and humidity within the nest. Mound builders are largely members of Termitidae, one of the most recently evolved and diverse termite families, building cities across the savannas of Africa, Asia, Australia, and South America. The family originated in Africa around 50 million years ago during the late Eocene, mostly taking to the tropical rainforests at the time. These early termites probably built their nests within rotting wood, the same wood they also fed on. Each colony spent their entire life restricted to a single piece, living in their food, and because of this, the size of the wood dictated how long the colony lived for. Eventually, some termites evolved other ways of foraging, keeping their nests completely separate from their food to improve colony stability. They took to the trees, building nests on branches and constructing tunnels that cartoned down the side of their tree over the forest floor to the ones they fed on. Towards the start of the Oligocene, around 30 million years ago, the termites dispersed from the rainforests of Africa. Modern tree nesting species also live in coastal habitats. And this was presumably the case for the ancestor of mound builders. Living so close to the coast offered them the fine opportunity to travel across the oceans and colonize other continents. But because termites are poor flyers, dispersing by flight would have been impossible. Instead, they may have crossed long distances by rafting on pieces of wood, 
their nests, possibly struck down after a tsunami or thunderstorm. In Australia, the closest relatives of mound-building termites are the tree nesters that live in Asia and South America. After their ancestors finally reached Australia, they nested in the trees by the beaches. At the time, between 10 and 20 million years ago, the continent was far greener than now. It was warm and wet, with rainforests that stretched across the horizon. For the first termite settlers, Australia was a paradise, not much unlike their previous home. They preferred the dense greenery, and so they had no trouble colonizing the continent. But then, around 7 to 10 million years ago, during the Pleistocene, Australia experienced climate change, and the rainforests succumbed to the drier conditions. The landscape became dominated by open grasslands, which set the stage for the evolution of mound building. Fewer trees were available, driving the tree nesting termites underground instead, where the earth was cooler. Eventually, mound building evolved as a way of keeping the nest stable, driven by the change in climate and the environment. It helped termites survive the harsher conditions, allowing them to expand their range and conquer Australia. In just one Australian termite subfamily, mound building evolved at least nine times across different lineages. Its parallel evolution in Asian, African and South American species only demonstrates its success as a survival strategy. Across the world, these towers stand tall, each city bustling louder with life as the termites build on their real estate.